Hey guys, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Today is gonna be the day where we finally make a shelter for us. I mean, we're not necessarily homeless. I mean, we've got multiple and multiple, numerous amounts of islands, but uh, in reality, we don't really have something to call a home, a shelter. We've been 15, 19 days survived in the wild here, and we are still pretty much living in the sand. For that reason, I think today's the day that we're gonna treat ourselves, especially, especially after the craziness that happened on the last adventure. If you guys missed it, please watch it. If you wanna be up to speed with the series, we hunted for the very first time ever a shark. Now we were actually going for the hammerhead shark that had really, really just irritated the crap out of me for like the last five, six episodes. Every time we were in a raft, there was a damn hammer shark. We fell, we lost our raft twice. There was the hammer shark, always. So I went hunting for a shark, specifically the hammerhead. And well, unfortunately for this beautiful tiger shark, we came across him instead and he faced his death. Today we eat in shark boys. So first things first, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna leave the shark there. Cause if I recall, I do have a couple of, uh, a couple of meats here in one of these crates. So the plan for today, of course, is going to be, Ooh, look at that. The plan for today is definitely going to be go to another island, get some materials as far as sticks and stuff. I don't want to chop down any of the trees here in this island because I think I'm kind of running a little bit low. And I know that these, these little pine sapling things, they, they eventually grow into like palm trees and whatnot. But I'm going to let those things do its thing. I'm going to let nature take its course. And then we're going to go somewhere else, somewhere we're not really, you know, sheltered in. And uh, we're going to chop down those trees. We're going to go to our tanning rack. We're going to make all the leather that we need. Yes, sir. Yep. Now, this is actually uh, leather that we got from from the boars on the other island. So, I think right now we're pretty set. We've got four. We've got a decent amount of the leather right now. Look at that. Holy crap. We are looking pretty damn good. Okay. So, with that said, I'm going to pick up some of these wooden sticks. Let's add some ammunition to our empty fire pit here refill our fire pit so all the meat that i brought from from the other island is already spoiled that actually sucks well i guess we are gonna actually end up eating tiger shark well i guess that's a good thing right so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna skin this tiger shark this is the second piece of leather that i get from it just because on the last episode accidentally i skinned it once so that's four. Oh no, actually we get three uh, three leather and that's the first meat that we get from it. Let's see how much meat we get from the shark. So this is two. I'm surprised we don't get large pieces of meat, right? That's three. Oh really? So it gives you a three and three only? Huh. Oh, actually that is large. Never mind. Well, that's actually good. Never mind. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and attach this uh, Good old large fish meat right there. We're gonna get the kindling and bada bing bada boom. We're gonna start the fire. And voila! Gotta make sure our plants are up to speed with everything. Okay, they're actually doing pretty fucking good. <laughs> the plants are always doing better than I am, right? So right over here instead. Okay, my water skin is empty. Add some fiber to the water still. Gonna go see what else we have in these containers. I know we, we pretty much stacked up a lot of the containers with a bunch of things from the other island. Just because I knew this was gonna be something that we we're gonna have to face. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I think I've got four plank scraps from the other island. We've got three metal. Oh, this is freaking amazing. And uh, we've got four cloth. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my cloths over here. Dude, we are looking pretty damn good. Okay, I'll drop them. Just like that. Stack them up. 23 days survived, ladies and gentlemen. 23 days. Drop all the wood right here. Good. I'm actually kind of glad that I skinned the, the shark or, or just made the smoked meat in general. Because last time when we left to the island, we actually only took one piece of meat. For whatever reason, I thought that we were actually going to be able to manage ourselves with just one piece of meat and a little bit of water on our water skin. And honestly, it wasn't enough. So kind of glad that we've got three pieces now. So I'm going to go ahead and collect this. Perfect. I'm going to get this. Add some more fiber. All right, I think we're actually pretty set. Okay, our farming is really good. They don't need water. We've got ourselves our water store doing its thing. We've got the essential tools that we need. We've got a pickaxe. We've got a refined knife. And of course, we got our good old spear gun. 
kind of do want to bring a compass, but honestly, I think what I'm going to do is going to be just fine. I think when I come back or possibly for the next episode, I'm going to do a major upgrade to my raft. I feel like our raft is pretty good, but I think we need to add more sails. Maybe uh, widen the actual base of the raft, although I know that takes a lot of materials as well. Uh, but right now, the main priority is to, in fact, get ourselves a nice little shelter. Not that we actually need it, but it's just aesthetically pleasing. And we can stack a bunch of containers in there. We can do, like, these container racks that we have on our actual raft. We can do them inside the, the shelter. And then everything just looks nicer. A little bit more uh, organized, if you will. All right, we've reached our brand new home sweet home this actually looks very similar to oh what the oh dear uh <laughs> listen man i don't want no trouble right now right now i've got a different uh mentality in mind if that makes any sense at all i'm here for some wood i'm not here for some shark meat okay so calm your little nipples down but anyways, we're here, brand new island. First things first, I'm going to make... This looks like our first island, by the way. I'm going to make an arrow, which is actually pointing towards our home island, which is that one over there. Um, just before I forget, because I know I will forget. All right, let me just chop this down. There we go. And just like that, we're going to get started. I'm going to point that way. I'm going to get three sticks. As per usual, make my nice little bull-legged arrow pointing that way. And that's the island we got to go to, just like that. So now we're going to get some of the essential things that we get from an island. Of course, we're going to do a quick lap around, just because I know this is going to give us rocks and sticks. Although we're only here for sticks, I feel like we can probably carry the rocks. Oh, there's another freaking giant crab there. Holy crap. We can probably carry the rocks in our pocket. There we go. We've got to be careful with the giant crab. Be careful with the giant crab. Okay. We're going to have to fight this damn giant crab again. You know how sick I am of you guys? Huh? Do you have any idea? Huh? Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, this is not good. I forgot to drink water when we left our island. Once I get collecting all these materials, I'm going to chop down a coke and I drink the water. Because, uh... <laughs> I'm an idiot. I actually forgot. I literally cannot believe I forgot to drink water before leaving the island, bro. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's like, I literally saw that I needed water and I... Oh, another crab. Fuck. What is this? What is this nonsense? It's okay. He's stupid. He's going to get stuck. He's going to get stuck. He's not going to come for me because he doesn't know any better. Now he's dead. We've got two giant crabs killed. Call me the Crabinator. <laughs> Chopping down trees. Okay, we're going to be here for a while. As you can see, it's starting to get dark. Should have brought a lantern, a flashlight, a torch. Didn't think about it. I didn't think it was going to get dark on us, but of course, this is stranded deep and things happen when you least expect it to happen. Put this palm over there. Okay, that's four wood. Holy crap. It is getting really dark here. I'm kind of glad I came to this island because it's such a small island that I would have never thought I'd I'd shelter myself in this island. You know, I, I wouldn't settle here. So I don't really care too much to take away its resources. As messed up as that sounds, I need the resources. But I'm glad I, I chose this really small island. Because if it's a big island, you know, you never know. Maybe one day I want to migrate to a bigger island and make that my, you know, my, my home for whatever reason. I don't know. Coming here was probably the perfect idea. So we've actually been here for the entire night. <laughs> I've been chopping down wood here for like eight hours in game which has been approximately like 30 minutes or so in real life um <laughs> i think this is gonna be the last palm tree that we chop down because i'm almost full on almost every single container i feel like these containers i underestimated them okay they, they they take a lot more materials than i actually thought god or i mean i knew how many they take but you underestimate how long it takes to fill them up a big boy ah it's a big fella oh god yep that's going to be the one. Excellent. All right. So, yeah, I, I, th I think we're good. Just so you guys have an idea. We were here for a very long time. Um, a really unique island, by the way. I liked it. It was very small, full of trees. We are now officially 24 days 
into the world of Stranded Deep. And we also have a fucking hammerhead shark there. <laughs> I will come for you, buddy. Don't worry. I, I will come for you. I'm telling you, this hammerhead does not leave me alone. I don't know if it's the same one. Probably not. But they are really fucking annoying. Drop that. And uh, before I do anything, before I do anything, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna make a quick run over here, drink some water. We are doing really, really shitty right now. Okay. Yes. Perfect. All right, that's good enough for now. I'm gonna go to my... Oh, fucking shit! Oh, you fucking little shit! Dude! You want to run away from me now? Huh? Oh, you dead. I hope the snake doesn't come here. God damn it. Why do these things take so long to kill this fucking... What the fuck is shit? Wow. Wow, that was not very nice of you, Mr. Mr. Hog. Don't look back. Just take it. Take it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I almost freaking died. Holy crap. I almost freaking died. Okay, get these two animals. Bring them back over here. Oh, yes. Look at all of these sticks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I really wish that as you leveled up, you could kind of like open up your inventory. You know what I mean? They could carry more things. I mean, we, we could carry a lot. And it does look like we carry more now than we did at the beginning, but... I don't know. I feel like we just need more. There's so many things that you need in this world to survive. Keep dropping sticks. <laughs> Holy crap, bro. I've got so much stick. I think we finally managed to reach the last batch of sticks. As if that was not enough. Holy crap, man. That was just insane. We're doing A-OK -okay on food, water. I need a little bit more water, so I'm going to go ahead and drink this. Um. No. Again, I'm just going to go back and break my own rules. When it comes to my plants. Because, uh, again, my plants are doing better than I am. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go to the good stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and pick up a hammer. I think we have a hammer. By the way, dude, just take a look at how many things. How many freaking pieces of wood do we have? We can build an entire fortress with the things that we have right here. Okay, I just need to get a hammer. I think my hammers are actually over here. I don't know exactly where I want to build it. I'm thinking this might be the best spot right here. Move the raft all the way over here. Over there. All right. Now we've got all of this area here. We've got all of this right here. Okay. Can we start here? Now, let's see. Where can we start this? Okay. Oh, so that's how it works. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. They okay, build another one here. Oh, this is so freaking cool, dude. I'm going to try and make the biggest uh, foundation that I possibly can. I think I'm going a little bit over the board with it, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of want a nice little home, you know? Although we could do more upgrades later on, so we don't have to do much more than this. I think that's just right, right, right okay right there. That's perfectly fine. Hmm, what do you guys think? Should we do one more into the water? I don't know. I don't think we'll be able to... We have enough mats? Go ahead and put this right there. Actually, no, that's not a. Is that a good idea? Is that is that what I'm? Let me see what's the difference between that and an actual wall. 
Oh, wait, they're not built out yet. Okay, that's right. I'm gonna build this out. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that. This is actually taking a lot of mats, man. This is indeed <laughs> taking a lot of fucking mats. I think you can actually tear things apart, like, if you don't need something. I mean, at least I hope you can. You can break it down and rebuild the wall somewhere else or something. Thing is, I don't know if you... I think you lose the materials for it. At least now we have a home, you know what I mean? So that's good. Perfect. Here we go. I don't really know why I made this little hallway here. Uh, I'll be honest. But we can always modify that. I was thinking of doing a little hallway and then opening up again, like bigger. Just for aesthetics purposes, but... Uh, as you can tell, that, that didn't go too well. Nonetheless, this is looking really, really fucking good right now. 25 days survived, getting more sticks, doing what needs to be done to survive in the world of Stranded Deep. I remember when I first saw this container, I tried hammering it because it had the hammer symbol. But I don't, I don't, like, let's see, if I switch over the hammer. Oh, you build it back. How convenient, the fact that I have a door like this here, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Look at that. No way, dude. <laughs> Yo, that's fucking sick. Dude, that looks amazing. Oh my God. No freaking way. I have an idea for this and I want to make a two story house. So I, I don't. I, I don't know if I should do the roof now because then if I do the roof now. I, I won't have enough materials for anything else. But the home we build in this world of Stranded Deep will not be just any ordinary home. It will be a very, very special home indeed. 12 foot ceilings. 14 foot ceilings, windows all up top. The entire second floor will have windows so you can have a beautiful view of the world of Stranded Deep. So we're at the point right now where we've got just the overall general foundation of our home as far as uh, walls and all that stuff in the floor. We do need a little bit more mats for the ceiling. Um, I don't know if I want to use the mats that I have for a ceiling. All right, so <laughs> this is my house so far. It, <laughs> it doesn't have a roof. I'm trying to figure out how the hell I can make a roof here. Um, when when I go inside, we have, an, <laughs> we have a very nice entrance and all. But for instance, if I go here and I go to the roof. Yeah, I, I don't know what I do. I have to put something else in order to put a roof or maybe it's is it a stairs that I need to build in order to do the roof there? We've got the foundation. Okay, we've we've officially begun to build our home and um, Although it may not be complete. I think it's pretty sexy. It's pretty nice pretty uh, extravagant and uh, I'm very proud of it so far. I probably should have done so many windows <laughs> But that is our home if you guys got any tips um, any suggestions as to what we should do for our home to obviously finalize the building and whatnot? Of course, when we get the roof going, everything's going to look a little bit different. It's going to look more complete. Um, but as of right now, that is what we got over the water home 26 days survived. And, um, uh, I'm looking forward to the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think we're going to end it here. Building a home took a lot longer than I expected. And, uh, I actually got to go eat now, like in real life. So I think this is the perfect spot to end this episode. I look forward to seeing your comments in the comments below for those of you guys that are experts within Stranded Deep. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later.